Uh, so moving right along, the Dice Summit was this week. Now, the Dice Summit uh, isn't, it's kind of, it's a great way to kick off the Expo season, I feel. Um, because the Dice Summit is really more geared towards um, the developers. It gives them all a chance to go and sit around and kind of talk amongst each other um, with, out, you know, just people all around asking about games because it's more, it's all about the developer. So yeah, the, the dice summit dice stands for design, innovate, communicate, entertain. <clears throat> um, and it's actually put on by the Academy of interactive arts and sciences, the IAIS. Yeah. And, um, Makes sense. so yeah, it is kind of this more developer friendly expo where they all come together. They network. There's all these networking events for all of them. There's a bunch of keynote speakers, um, so it's not really meant for like the average consumer like you and me, but it, it, it is still kind of it's nice good. to look at what comes out of it because they do just looking at the topics that they're going to cover. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of what to expect in the years to come and, and kind of what's being developed now even. Um, it's a good insight into the industry. Right. And so... <laughs> Right away, one of the biggest things that came out of this weekend was Phil Spencer's keynote, which he, he did one that was talking about d- building a community uh, and a culture within your company, which is huge, and, and that's really important, and it, it's kind of like a good look at why Microsoft hasn't been doing as much now, because they're kind of trying to restructure inside to make sure that they're putting out better quality content over quantity content right which i don't even know right now they're not putting out either so right. but i mean you gotta sorry they're, just get, me. they're just they're relaying that concrete yeah, they foundation have to. well they so have they to. can grow right. out of it and i think they have to well but yes that's not the point <laughs> um but one of the big things he talked about was toxicity in gaming and i do definitely think that's a huge problem now uh, he's worried, Phil Spencer at Microsoft Xbox, is worried that toxicity is one of the things that will ruin the gaming atmosphere, will ruin the kind of the whole business behind gaming. Because you, and you, you can look back at, you know, stories from the past few months of like, even that guy that got someone killed because he lost a, a money match in Call of Duty. And so... He, you know, swatted a guy, and it was the wrong house. And the SWAT team killed the, the guy, in his front on his front porch. My God, I've not heard that. Story. You didn't hear about that? No. It's yeah, horrible. this dude on Call of Duty lost a money match for like a buck seventy five. It wasn't even serious. He and swatted someone over a dollar. He swatted the guy, cents? but the it was the wrong address. And the cops showed up, and the dude was like, "I have no idea what's going on." He killed some other guy. Yeah, it was just a bystander. That's crazy. It was the wrong address. The cops showed up. The dude walked out on the front porch with his hands up, and then he put his arms down to say, like, because he didn't know what the fuck was going on, and they shot him for dropping his arms. And, yeah, the guy that swatted it is now being... He should be charged he's with in at jail. least manslaughter. Yeah, he's in jail. Shit. Um, As and, he should be. What are you doing? What? Yeah, so, and that's something that... There's no reason to do that, right? That's completely unnecessary. It's completely like out of the. It's like it's not just inappropriate. Standard it human wrong. behavior, like, right. right? It's wrong. Like, not only are you wasting everybody's involved time, including your own fucking time, because grow up, dude. Right. But you're like legitimately putting people's lives on the line over <laughs> over a dollar seventy. Five or whatever. Or this guy. Oh, we're losing a match. I mean, whatever. This guy kind of is a sociopath, though. He is also called in a fake bomb threat at a television studio. Like he's done weird. Uh, like he's so got a he's, background of doing like he's a bad person. crazy stuff. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, over a money match on Call of Duty, and yeah, it, it's it's so unnecessary. But even some of the smaller cases, like PewDiePie saying the N word, or Doctor Disrespect, you know making bad jokes and getting backlash for it on on Twitch. It's it's all is it something that we as people uh should just expect when we log into an online game at this point just be like oh it's people on the internet they're all just terrible people anyways whatever or is it something that we 
as you know, good-hearted, kind people, gamers, like, do we need to start putting our foot down against people online? Really start harping down on reporting people, and are these companies going to make it easier for for us to do so? Well, right? I would say, yeah. I mean, I yeah. I mean, that's the question: is 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 there something that the the average gamer, which I assume, I would honestly say, the average gamer is not a big fan of a lot of the toxicity. Right. I wouldn't say that the average gamer cares that much necessarily. I don't think the current average gamer I'm talking about, not the not the future. I'm just talking about the, the current people who play games right now. Right. Like the average person, it's hard to tell because I think there's a lot of people that do care. There's a lot of people that are the toxic people. And then there's an even larger group in the middle who kind of fall a little bit into both categories where they don't really care um, necessarily... And maybe some of them even find it kind of funny sometimes, but there's always people who take it too far. And I think that's where the biggest issue comes from is that there's these, there's like people who just go too far and it's like, take, dial it back a little bit. It's, there's one thing to be making dumb jokes. There's another thing to be like piling it on, on somebody just because, you know, whatever reason, because whatever dumb reason people come up with, which is like. All the time, people come up with dumb reasons to be mean to people because they're girls or because they're black or because whatever else. Right. People like, are like, you, you don't need like, to what? pick on anybody. I mean, I've, I've said it before on here, I believe, and I'm going to say it again. If you won't say it to your mother, don't say it. I'm not going to sit there and call my mom, like, you know, insensitive words. I so mean, why would you say that to strangers? I mean... It's that old, you know, <laughs> adage of of saying like, it, treat people the way you want to be treated, right? right? Right. Or you know, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And I think there's like, I, I, <laughs> I will say that I know, having played games as long as I have, there have been times where you know, you want to like just do dumb shit to people to make it for for jokes for laughs. Right. But, but you have to remember, there's a person on the other side. Well, you have to remember there's a person on the other side, and there's, there's. A limit to what you should be doing. Right. I mean, there are some... There's harmless jokes. Yeah. And there's, like, really toxic, awful things that can... Right. It's one thing to stand in front of a door in Fortnite so your random teammate can't get in and you, he gets shot and then you laugh about it. Right. I mean, that's just being a dick. <laughs> but right. I don't think being a dick is what... Is, I that's mean, not, if that was happening all the time, it, yeah, that would particularly right, ruin it'd a game. Right, be a problem. But, but it, like, even, like... Teabagging people in Destiny One, right. like it was a huge issue. Like, why? It, it's so unnecessary. It's so vulgar. It's really. I know it's but like a joke. It's not a huge. I don't thing, see teabagging like, like you can't let teabagging. Well, it got to the point you. that it was like. <laughs> well, that's it though. That's it's such a <laughs> yeah. weird. Like the whole thing is like. At what point is it excessive? At what point is it toxic? excessive? Right. I mean, I used to. I remember in Halo Two, a buddy of mine. We used to. <laughs> we used to make. We used to make groups, right? And then we would invite a guy to the group. And then my buddy would go, oh, hey, man, how did you come up with your gamer tag? And the guy would start talking. And then he'd immediately kick the guy as soon as he started talking about how he got his gamer tag. <laughs> and I will say, uh, to That's this like a day, joke. it still makes me laugh. Yeah, it's pretty but funny. But I could understand some guys like being like, oh, like, you know, that would hurt someone's feelings. Right. Like, but right. I would consider that a harmless joke. I would not consider that to be like, trolling you know i mean it is trolling but i wouldn't consider that to be like griefing like it, it's not right. like it's not like it's not they're toxic. gonna go like cut themselves over it. right i wouldn't i mean i would hope not you know right i mean it might <laughs> people mental did, health is an issue a, and that's, we're not trying to downplay no, that at all of but, course not. I, but like I, the reality I mean, is much worse things out if there you're than that getting if you're getting that upset by somebody like kicking you out of a group after you know as a joke you know you should probably go see talk to somebody, right? Um, and I mean, also not if, in a bad way, just you know, if your reaction to that is to rage out and break shit in your house, you should probably, probably also go, go talk, talk to, to somebody. somebody. Yeah, um, that's a good like if you with mental health is such a, a prevalent issue now, right? It's especially in the current environment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm not saying like everybody needs help but i'm saying like it's 
And I've talked to people. Right, I have. So, I've been to therapy myself. And right. I'm not afraid to say right. that. Right, no, and I have also. And I'm, I'm also not afraid to say it. I've dealt with my own personal issues. And I think that um, it takes more courage to be the type of person who goes and asks for help when they're feeling when, like like things aren't, you know, normal. You know, when you're not yeah. feeling like the way that you, you think you should feel probably, then there's probably, you know, there's it's not a bad idea to go and ask help from somebody. Right. Um, <clears throat> and professional help is better probably than most people around you, to be honest, because most people around you don't aren't don't have the right tools or the right, right know-how to be able to properly help you. But that does that takes a little bit away from the fact that if you're out trolling people and using like extreme conver- like extreme um language and like really going in on people and like you're purposely going out of your way, <laughs> you should also go and talk to somebody. Because that's because not okay. That's not okay either. And it's like because you will have that effect on somebody that they will hate themselves and they'll feel cyberbullied. Well, and the and reality is, they like, the person who's doing the cyberbullying almost definitely hates themselves, anyways. So right. it's like they, that person clearly you have a lot of pent up anger, a lot of pent up frustration, and you're and you need to get it out. There's nothing wrong with using games as an outlet, but don't for a take lot it of out that. on the right. people but on the other side. Exactly. There are human beings out there who also feel their own anger and their own frustration and their own sadness. It doesn't make sense to start attacking them just because you're feeling those emotions. Right. Like, go figure your own shit out. Yeah. Right? You know, play a game to let off steam. Don't play a game to purposely go out of your way to hurt other it's people. It's like... Make other people feel the same way you feel. Have you ever driven down the road and seen all the cars around you and you stop and think, like, wait, every single person in every single one of these cars is a person and they have a real life. Right. And you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what they're going through you have no idea and i mean and, the thing but you do the same online every person that you kill in a multiplayer match every person that you get paired up with they're oh, right. a real person that's right. what i'm getting every back person to. that kills you yes right. right it's every single person you encounter in a massively multiplayer or even locally multiplayer like environment like that's another person well and the reality is don't they... send them hate mail telling them to go kill themselves because if they do you can go to jail for that now just saying. That's a thing. Well, that is one thing. And also, it's just, would you want somebody sending you a bunch of hate mail? I mean, I get some people handle it a lot better than other people. Right. I mean, I know I don't personally get too offended when people are like, kill yourself. Because it's like, well, I do, obviously I'm doing something right because this kid's getting all angry at me. Right. But it's like, why are you sending kill yourself messages like to people? Like, just maybe you should just say kill yourself to yourself. Like, everyone else does when they're you know driving your car in road rage and you get when you're driving your car by yourself right and you someone does something annoying cuts you off and you're like ah oh, that mother effer right that's it that's as far as it goes it's like you say yeah. it to yourself you're like oh and what a piece of shit car and then right you know, whatever and then you and then you let it go but you, you said, don't you don't you're, you don't drive after them follow them home and go how could you cut me off? How could blah blah blah? That has That's, happened to me before. Yeah, I'm sure it had. I remember <laughs> telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, I got. I People got do that. To, <laughs> but those are the you know that's not the appropriate response to someone making a mistake because I'm guarantee you you've made mistakes before. Right. Because I guarantee you you know you've done things that piss other people off to that extent, and I'm sure you don't want them following you home, and I'm sure you don't want them, you know, pestering you with hate. With hate messages and stuff, even if you might think it's funny because it's like, oh, this guy's got no life that he has to like no, pester me about. It's like, I don't, it's still annoying. Like, it's still you don't still it gets to a point where it's annoying at the very least. Yeah, you know. And I mean, I'm I'm all for promoting positive gaming environments, and like that's why I try to do that when when I live stream. It's like anyone that comes in the chat. I I was playing Destiny two, and some guy came in. Who's tired? Like his username was literally Destiny Two Sucks, and he came in just to troll me. And I was like, "Well, how are you doing today, man? Oh, you don't like this game? I'm sorry about that. You know, just like I killed him with kindness." And then before I knew it, he was like, "Well, all right, well, bye. I guess." <laughs> like he didn't have fun because I was right. so nice to him. Right. And I mean, I promote positivity in the gaming atmosphere, and I I wish more people would. And there's a lot of good streamers out there that are also doing it, but there's also a lot of streamers that feed off that hate, and they enjoy that, and they like trolling people. And, like, we need to start putting our foot down as individuals and stop accepting it because it, it is going to get to the point where lawmakers are going to get involved, right? 
Oh yeah. I mean, again, like, I think it, are, crazy things it, are going to happen. I think it's like we said. It I, doesn't need to get to that point. Agreed. I don't. It doesn't get to the point where I. I don't. Right. I mean, if you're swatting people, if you're doxing people, if you're g- getting these things where you're really making an impact on people's real lives, you've gone too far. So right. if, there's a certain level of trolling that I think is funny. Honestly, I think yeah. there is a certain level of trolling that is funny. I think there is a certain level of just shit, shitting on people a little bit that's kind of funny. And you just have to be willing to find the balance. There is a balance there of being able to be kind of funny and talk shit and, you know, make right. you know, mild I mean, fun of people. Of it. right. well, it's, part of, it's part of, like, sports, too. Like, people mm-hmm. do it in sports all the time. People do it. It's the same idea. It's a, just... But if you're going to say it, like, also be able to take it, right? Like, well, that's another big thing. Right. That's a huge... It's like if if you go around spouting stuff like that and then you get mad when some person s- says something mean to you, like, then unfortunately well, you're a hypocrite. Yeah. Right. And I, that's just bad behavior. Like, don't well, do it. Don't be a, I mean, I'm like, I mean, and it happens. And unfortunately, and I'm not trying to single out the younger crowd, but like you see it a lot with like the 14 y- and younger people. Where they'll sit there and say all this stuff, but then the second you make a yo mama joke, they get all like mad and start freaking out and throw their well, controllers. Well, I, I think there's also like, a certain level of like that younger crowd is also got that wanting to be edgy, like edge lord, like how can I push push the boundaries the boundaries as far yeah. as I can, just because they're you know there's a lot of chemicals going on in their brains, right? Um, so I think they do definitely are a certain part of the community, but honestly, I, th- I think there is still a large part of the community that's adults who are right. griefing on people. And again, I think trolling is not trolling necessarily, but I think making those types of jokes where it's like, you're kind of, it's kind of at the expense of somebody else is okay to an extent. If you're not, you're not going to start, if you're starting to be racist or sexist or homophobic or transphobic, or, trans, or, or, or making fun of mental health, right? Or once you get into like really personal or things that people can't change about themselves, like they just are who they are, then you're taking it too far. Right. You're shitting on somebody for being terrible at a game. Not you know whatever they're bad at the game. That's it. Just leave it at that. You don't have to bring up the fact that they're a girl or the fact or whatever else. You know, just leave right. it at there. Sh- you think they're shit at the game? Just say that you're garbage. Yeah. Boom, you're done. Like, that's it. You did your part. And don't spam it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you <laughs> don't, don't have to say it 5,000 times. <laughs> right. So, um, that's but kind of... That's toxicity. That's kind of what they taught. They like, Xbox Xbox is worried that it's going to kill the gaming industry. Right. And Phil Spencer and is worried that the, the massive expansion that we've seen in video games will start to die off if we don't change the, the well, environment. Because I don't, really don't see games... Like, the, right. The, what, what, if you kept just the toxic community, that would be enough to keep video games alive, I right. mean, realistically. But it's more so like, yes, the drive of like, okay, you're pushing away people because they don't feel safe or comfortable in your online platform. 